what's your dream collabo? Producer, rapper, singer. If you have to start off the year, first single off. Money is not a problem. That's a good question. Uh, who do you say Drake, you know? Okay, so Drake as a rapper or a, a singer? Rapper. Who as a singer? Who as a producer? On Singer, one track. Uh, you got a scissor. Okay. Yeah, scissor. Producer. No Africa. <laughs> Alright, cool. Shall, shall, shall I give you Africa? Shall I give you Africa? Yeah. Right, Dream cool, cool. Let's, 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 let's restart. I'll probably say, um, cool singer, I'll say Tyler. South okay. Africa. Okay, okay. Uh, rapper Wes. I don't know if it counts as a rapper. I can say Burner Boy, no? Burner Boy is a singer, but if it's you're in between, in between, between Burner yeah, Boy, yeah. Burner Boy. And then producer Wes. They're bringing guilty beats. Okay. okay. That's a nice one. Olive. Artist, artist. Okay. Oh, Alright. Yes. Yes. And then for a beat maker, P Prime. Who? P Prime. P Prime, okay. Okay. And a singer? Biba. Just a Just Biba. Biba. That's a very interesting. Alright, bro. What about you? Singer um Venom Boy. Rapper Stone and you know, producer Saz. Saz as a producer? Yeah, producer Saz, yeah. And then singer Burner Boy. Singer Burner Boy. Rapper Stormzy. Rapper Stormzy. Yeah. You didn't pick anybody from the UK, you're from the UK. It's only Africa, so I switched <laughs> it up. I switched it up. Switched it up. Olive, you have one of the biggest songs of 2023. Yeah. You expect it? I did. You knew it was going yeah, to be I big? Did. Yeah. When, 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 when did you drop the record, Good Sin? April. And April. When? It was on an EP. Okay. okay. Was it a single of the EP? It was not off the EP. It was on the EP. Okay, so it was on the EP, but was that the first single? Is that what you expected was going to blow up? No. On the EP, there's this song called NBA. 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 N. I, I, N. As in NBA. I like it because. Um, I actually brought it out of experience, right? Uh, there's there's a lot of emotions inside that song, so I expected that song to actually be a lot of song. This is not my favorite song, actually. Okay. But then, your favorite song is not your people's favorite song. So what what do you think made good song blow? Because I I the realized concept. I realized the song blew up without a video. Without a video. So I used to I used to ask myself if it was intentional to drop the single and push it before shooting the video and putting it out? Well, um, before everything, yeah, me and my team actually believed um, this thing is what it's actually going to blow. I didn't, I didn't want it to blow. I what wanted NBA mean? rather to blow. But then we knew it because we knew the market, right? And then, you know, it's good sin. Good sin. Uh -huh. There's nothing I can do. So are you going to push NBA now? Yeah. Oh, you got more new music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are not really moving to NBA now. Okay. They're moving to stay. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's what we're working on. But then I'm actually going to push NBA regardless. Yeah, that's that one has to blow. Yeah. Yeah, so you, yeah, 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 yeah. You're more of a hip hop hip hop head. Yeah. When when did you get introduced to Afrobeats? I'd say that probably that's what I probably started off on. Like my first single was like kinda like Afro swing, Afro beats. Called Mama Sia, so that was like I think like five years now ago. Okay. So yeah, that that's a that's yeah, that was my first ever single. So But you didn't stick to Afrobeat. No, I didn't, because obviously the sound kinda changed in the UK from like so um I say like twenty eighteen was a really high time for like Afrobeats, Afro swing in the UK. And then moving on from there, that's when like draw became more popular. So I feel like if you wanted to like kind of get somewhere, you had to like kind of go with like what was trending and yeah, I guess I guess I just decided to just like switch up and do a bit of drill. So the first thing that worked for you was four AM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was a freestyle on TikTok. And then um yeah, it just went crazy. Like I woke up one morning, just seen thousands of comments and Yo, dreams you have off uh four AM. Four AM hundred and can't count a hundred and hundred plus, hundred hundred million plus, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. That's 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 like a whole local Ghanaian artist catalog <laughs> put together. Ten years. Because <laughs> people over here don't really have access to, to yeah. internet and smartphones. 
Yeah. Everybody, knew, almost everybody in UK has a smartphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very, it's very small percentage of the people here use smartphones mm-hmm. and go online to check music out. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Paul, awesome. you have an EP coming. Yes, I do. The time is now. Yeah. Do you do you, do you see who are, which which uh who's doing the type of music that you you make that you look up to? In the Ghanaian music um, industry, that I look up to uh, singers, promise. vocalists. Who's your favorite? Oh, can promise. Can promise. Uh, Why? I just like him. You you uh, you pick and promise over Akwa Boy. Um, it's because I've listened. Akwa is my favorite. Yeah, it's because I've listened to Kim Promise more than I've listened to Akwa Boy. Who's, 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 who's your favorite vocalist here? Vocal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Aquaba, of course. You Aquaba? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm saying I can't like him from it. Yeah, from yeah, 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 I feel like he's great. Yeah. Sarkozy or Manifest? <laughs> Sarkozy or Manifest? And, and, and lyric wise? Everything. <laughs> I'm just choosing lyric wise, manifest. No, I'll choose Sakodi. He's got Sakodi? me. Sakodi? Yeah, to me, he's got me. Like he's a whole yeah. entire entity you pick Sakodi. Manifest. Stoneboy Shatawale. Stoneboy. Kiri Kwame Yuja. What do you say? Kwame Yuja, you know, I've listened to more songs from him, I think. Yeah. But Kiddy, Kiddy's cold though, Kiddy, Kiddy's sick. Yeah. Jackie Sefa. Hey. Guys, <laughs> 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 uh. everybody has a story, but I don't think every single one of you wanted to be musicians growing up, right? Did you uh, want to be an artist growing up? Yeah, most definitely, but it wasn't always like the main. It wasn't always the main. My mom's looking at me over there. <laughs> it wasn't always the main. What, what did you want to be? Um, obviously, I wanted to do music, but obviously, I was aspiring to do like engineering, aerospace. Okay. But you never yeah. hear a Ghana guy say, <laughs> I wanted to do aerospace. But yeah, no, definitely, I wanted to do music. Okay. Yeah. So what, what, what made you change paths from that aerospace dream? Um, I guess there's still something I can pick up, like moving on. But, um, Obviously, it was a 4 a.m. freestyle that changed everything for me. Okay. So, like, dropping the freestyle and seeing, like, the reactions I was getting from everyone, like, even being in school, it wasn't the best idea, like, everyone's coming up to, like, I'm not even really focusing on education. Like, it's just, like, everyone's talking about music, like, oh, like, bro, I'm seeing you here, I'm seeing you there. So, yeah, it, was just, it just made sense for me to, like... You're like, fuck this aerospace Yeah, shit. yeah, right now. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, yeah, forget about that for now, but, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to play football. Yeah. Play soccer, but when I went to boarding school, Soccer was so big in the Eastern region mm-hmm. that my school used to buy players. <laughs> so you're 17, but when you look at the players on the field with you, you're like 27. <laughs> with big men yeah, I with hair on their legs and their chest. I stopped. Yeah. What, what, what did you want to do before music? I wanted to become a doctor. A doctor? Is it funny? And what changed that? What changed that? How, how old are you? Well, I'm 21. 21. So, uh, there was no music. There was no music. I actually grew up from a, a house where music day, right? My mommy is saying, my papi is saying. So I used oh, to see all these cassettes. Sing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to see all these cassettes with my mom. But it was no music for me. Okay. I was becoming a doctor until. Do you have a wife? Huh? Do you have a wife? Do you have a wife? Um, no. A very weird question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that girls are problems. So. Okay. So I fell for a girl and then I started writing for them. Okay. 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 Let's bring the story down properly. You fell in love with somebody. Yeah. yeah. And you wrote the song for the girl. Yes. Then you re- you recorded it. I didn't record the song. No. I went to live. school with it. I went to school with it and I sang it to my friends. They were like, yeah, it's good. You know. So it was from there that I started writing more. And then I met my producer. We started doing How did the girl shit. feel about the song? I never sang it to the girl. Nah. 
Because <laughs> cause the girl didn't like me. <laughs> the girl didn't like me, so I didn't sing it to the girl. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was from. You started writing this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what high school. Then we started recording. This is high school. It was it was yes it was high school. I left <laughs> high school before I started music, like professionally. After high school, yeah, we started yeah. recording in the studio. This is not your. This wasn't your first release. No, I've dropped two EPs so far. So the first project was an EP, and then the second was an EP. How many songs on the EP? What six was it on called? the first. It was it was six on the first one, and then five on the second one. The first one was Tangerine EP from Tangerine, uh-huh. and then Tangerine, and then the second one is Havana. Savannah. Havana. Havana. Yes. So this is your third EP. This, this is my second EP. That's, this, is, this is what happened. Yes. Goodson. Goodson. Okay. Okay. All right, Doctor, Doctor Olive. <laughs> well, tell us your story. Oh. Why? What, what? What was it before music, or has it always been music? I've, I've been singing since childhood, actually. Okay. I've been singing, but um, I had to go. You know where I'm from. You have to have options. It's not only that you start with music. You have to have options. So I had to go to school and uh, uni. The pressure was like too much. You can sing. We'll cover for you. Go to the studio. You can sing. We'll do assignment for you. Go to the studio. And so I went to the studio, Sahara. I couldn't even go to the class anymore. I decided to stay. You, you, quit, you quit university? Yeah. I didn't quit. I finished. You finished? Yeah. yeah. You worked with kids, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Is that? Vampire. Vampire. That's my producer. Okay, okay. We were, we were writing for an artist. You know, at yeah. some point, he actually wanted you yeah. to vocal coach me. He told you, right? Yeah, he told me. Yeah. Well, I was in school then. You were in school. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. So you guys know each other? Yeah, I know him. I think, okay, he knows me. Yeah, I know him. You, uh, you guys are the new generation. <laughs> um, 2024. It's going to be a big year for you guys. But you, after, after you finished your need, what got you into the studio to put those records? When I met you, you had about 20 songs. Yeah. Doing, um, I, I met um, Chris Sims, that's my producer. I met him in Tagari, so while school, yeah, I was going to record, so I had songs already. But during um, lockdown, um, I was just home, and then that time I was doing my service in uh, at Gassem, and then Gassem, yeah, Gassem. Cement factory. yeah, we're working there, yeah, that was what I was doing. What, and production, production, I'm um, parking control, the no, no, control room, I <laughs> control everything, okay, yeah. Right. So I came home during the lockdown. They told us to wait a week because um, the infection. So we should wait a week. I waited the next week. I didn't go again. That's all. I said to stay home and just be right recording. recording what's, what's, what's your inspiration to create music? Uh, my inspiration, I'd say, I'd say family. Like, my family, like, seeing my success really, like, yeah, just making them proud, really. That's that's my that's my main inspiration. I'd say to 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 see your family proud that you yeah that that I'm succeeding in what I'm doing and I'm able to like I guess like provide for them and make sure they're good from what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So yeah. How about you, Olive? Bro, I can't say I cannot say to see my family proud because when I started, they did not want me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really, see really that. Come <laughs> well, they wanted to arrest me. Oh, my mommy wanted to arrest me. Yeah. That's the video story. But do you, really? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't arrest yeah. yeah. But then my inspiration actually comes from um, a lot of stuff, things that actually happen around me. Right? What actually keeps me moving is um, comments. So far, I've not had any, any bad comments, seriously. You know? Like I told you, I was not really music, music guy, you know, like I saw I saw my parents do it, but then it was not something I really wanted to. Wait, was, was it their careers or they was just doing it on their the Their careers. Oh yeah, like yeah, they were professional. Yeah, my, mom, my mom had an album, like cassettes down in the house. So why so didn't they want you to, to make music? Because I was a bright student. You were what? I was a bright student. Okay. So they, they actually thought I could do something better with school than like music, you know, like, cause it takes, they've been there, right? It takes a lot to actually become what you want to be like in music. So they didn't want me to <laughs> go through that. They wanted me to take the easy way out, which in our, in our African homes, they think it's, it's education, right? 
So yeah, it was it was like that. And then what what are they saying now though? They're happy. Oh. They're happy. They're really very happy you still now. Live in Japan? Uh, no, no, I don't. I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, uh, there's, no, there's going to be too much, too much, too much trouble. But but they're proud, they're proud, they're proud of you now. What? Are they proud of you now? Yeah, they are. They are. I did I did um, this small concert, a live experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you heard about I it. I saw it. I watched it. Um, I'm looking on stage. Actually, saw I didn't it. expect it. I think you wore, came you wore all stage. white or silver. I watched it on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're proud now. They're proud now. That's good. Um, 2024 VGMAs is in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Who do you think your competition is for? Best new artists? Nobody. <laughs> 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 nobody, nobody, nah. Who do? Who, who Sam go did the nominee since 2023. You probably get Chaka. Okay. Yourself. Myself. Maya Blue. Maya Blue, yes. yes. Who else? Has she not been there before? I don't think yeah. you have any competition this year. Nah. Be your own. There's nobody. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you. You see, I had a conversation with Sefa. Yeah. Same. Oh, best new artist. You know who came out of the blue? Who? Like Sherry. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen. Yeah, it's true. But it's I, true. I think, I think, I think, I think it's for you. I think I'd, if I had to throw my waist behind anybody, a 2023 best new artist. If they don't give you a Google house, mm -hmm. then go do on our music. <laughs> Simple. Paul, kill your Kwame user. Kill him. Kill your Kwame user. Kwame user, yeah. I'm sticking to the store. Yeah. Sugar daddy. What were you? Yeah. Kitty. Yeah, Kitty. From Eugene. Why? Why? Why Kitty? Why Kitty? I don't know. He's that person that I just like. Like, I just like the guy, man. Yeah. Is he somebody that you looked up to coming up? Yeah. He's one of those guys. But you know, funny thing, right? The actual song I wrote, the first song I wrote, was from a Kwame Eugene song. So I picked, I picked the progression, right? And then I just made a song out of the progression. What song was that? I forgot him. I forgot him. It's been a long time, so I don't think I remember. But yeah, I like it. It's yeah. good.